Hello everyone. There's been some recent firmware updates for the Concept2 PM5. I figured I would go ahead and put out a quick video on, on how to do that. It could be a little scary if you've never done it before. First thing you want to do is just type in firmware right here. Hit enter. It'll take you to this next page. Uh, just click on PM5 firmware. First thing you want to do is definitely download this Concept2 utility here. It's only for Windows and Mac. There, there is not an Android or Apple version. It tells you the steps right here, but it's it's fairly easy once you get the utility downloaded. Um, I do recommend also signing up for these emails. That way you get notified about any future firmware versions that are that are coming out. So once you download the utility and install it, you can basically crank it up. This is pretty much for support. This is if you travel and don't have, you know, access to uh, say a PM5, you have like a older PM3 or something like that, and you want to download your workout along with all the metrics of the workout and upload it to the logbook. But for a firmware update, you just want to basically hit firmware update to the PM5. Now, I purposely did not put in a USB into my computer just so if you see this message, you know that it either does not see the USB that you entered or you don't have one in just yet. So you just insert it. Now it's asking for a username because this could be used as your logbook. I usually just put Joe Ray in there. Literally, you can put anything you want to, and it'll move along and start blowing those files onto that USB. And we'll take a look at that when it's done. Fairly quick process, doesn't take too long. It also, next steps, you know, remove the USB, you know, safely, insert it into the back of your PM5 monitor, you turn it on, and it basically asks you if you want to do this now, do this later. So you're pretty much done. So you can uh, kill this and then take a look at this. You got a concept two directory. This is probably diagnostic files for if you ever had to deal with support. Not sure what that is. Um, this is your logbook stuff. If you were to use this as a as a logbook device for gyms and hotels. And here's all your firmware for all of your available ergs. That's it. You're all set. All you have to do is eject the USB, pull it out, and take it to your device where we'll uh, walk through that procedure real quick. See you in the garage. All right, team, we're here in the garage. So let's start the process of updating the PM5. I chose my ski erg since it has the oldest firmware. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this guy. So just go ahead and stick it in. At this point, you're ready to turn on the monitor and start the process of updating the firmware. So we're going to turn on the monitor. It's going to look no different, but you see the USB there at the top pop up. Now it sees the USB has some firmware on it. So it's telling me currently I'm on 868. There was an 869 that I skipped. And here we are with 870. We got a couple of options here. I'm gonna go ahead and update now. So it says it'll take up to 12 minutes. It usually does not. We'll just watch this and I'll probably speed this up in the final video so you don't have to watch paint dry. All right, it is done. It does see the USB in the back. Um, as you see, that username that I used is, is right here. We are done. Basically, we can go to the main menu 
and uh, at this portion we could we could remove the USB for anybody that doesn't know a B C D E so it's E button E button E button E button all right team so that concludes the process of updating your PM5 with a USB device. Once upgraded, you'll be able to take advantage of any of the features or functionality in the new firmware. Go ahead, upgrade, and just use your machine as normal. Hopefully if you had any Bluetooth connectivity issues, those will be resolved. I have tested Bluetooth connectivity with all of my devices, and occasionally when I would connect with one device, and then later on go to connect with another device, I would have a little bit of an issue. That did not seem to be the case today. So no issues to report online or with my upgrade process so far. So hopefully you have confidence to go ahead and go through this procedure yourself. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I would love to have you as a subscriber in 2022 and beyond. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.